get down with so loud. Throw a party downtown, it's your time. Time is with us, we gon' make it work. And we gon' show the world how the city go berserk. Chuckers play through five in the morning. Which be the sounds that'll make you love the city of New Orleans. You catch a bad vibe, chuck a douce. Long as you feel alive, let's it bon time roulette. Cause we gon' make it feel right at home. And you ain't got a party alone. Hey DJ, play one of my songs. So we can keep dance to it all night long. The greatest sound that you ever had. So we can feel joy for the feeling bad. So you can live life and enjoy your time. We'll even stop traffic for the second line. Soldier talking about 
I walk high and tall, I used to so I used to buy the weed when I was on that little ground. Shake down on the ground, when sun come around. I'm 12. Like, 12, but, I'm gonna get some nigga rapping about the dope. You would have been in time, folks. That's what that's New Orleans shit. But as we were older, actually having these discs, it was a competitive it was beef competitive. between Big Boy Records and Cash yeah. Money. You had UNLV versus P PNC. Definitely. Then they went mystical. Mystical. You know, like so saying these niggas like fake chill eating bitch was a direct shot at mystical. Nigga found out mystical was a chill eater at coin, bitch. Fake chill eating bitch. You had don't that be was comfortable. Just a, that, was that, was music. Music. that was that was always nigga was still young dog. Nigga. Like how did like but then man. but see you being young and us being uh, older yeah, in high yeah. school that was a different part for us. Right. You know. Right. Uh, going to school every day. I rode to school with some guys that was seniors, so they had all the music, right? Everything. So they played, we'll play PNC one day. We pumping, getting your roll on, you know, everything. Then one day we got you on LV, Uptown Niggas Living Violet. So it was, it was part of my everyday ride to school to listen to these music. And not only part of that, Going to school uptown, being from the east, and going to school uptown, actually not living it but seeing it. Full shade was right down, down the, street. the street. You know, they, fact check me if they're wrong, but Magnolia Shorty was down there. Definitely. Turk was Turk. down there. Mm -hmm. So for them to come catch the bus, they had to walk down. They had to come down. They had to come down Nashville Street and come see us. So do you remember? Man. Do you remember when we got? That this might have been. Uh, I think uh, it was my eighth grade year, uh, seventh uh, grade year. But we got in a fight with them there from Foshe, and then the next day, they came down Nashville like a fucking sea of blue, and they ain't let us out of school. I was already on the bus going. Gone. gone. <laughs> <laughs> Are you dumb? <laughs> that shit was You got to realize this is 94. This, birth that, capital of the world. That, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, when Slim on that Inno Exposed say, if you was off the porch in 94, you was a gangster. Man, that shit was crazy. Nigga had to catch a bunch from uptown all the way to the east. Had to go through every school district there is period so one big part of my growing up my older years was the rta catching the bus yeah that was oh, a really good you know, that was a real experience in this year so catching the rta as seventh grade as a young child gone catching what older people senior citizens killers whatever murderers, whatever the whole city it, you had to grow up fast because back then a nigga jack your seat. A nigga beat you up getting off getting off the bus. You know, this was every once what you happened? got to Canal Street, which was the hub oh, of man. everything, McMain stood out because we was on the school uniform. that didn't have uniforms. Everybody and that. we was the nerds. You know what I'm saying? So, so we had to fend it. for ourselves. So just getting back on topic, oh, riding the RTA was a big part of me growing up. But while you was riding the while you was riding the RTA, nigga had them headphones on. And nigga was listening to something. Everybody that was when them walkmans was hot. Niggas had them headphones on listening to something. So like it, it was it was just competitive, competitive beef. Y'all like My whole thing is the uh, the music, the the the, the, the great music. music came out of that. But you gotta understand, just sub subconsciously through the music, that shit bred and calloused our mind to yeah. think certain ways and feel certain type of ways in certain situations. Definitely. And that's why the main basis of this shit is probably the vibe, vibe. Right. We the elite, we was able to separate at what times. we hear to at from the reality at, time. at times. At but times. that was based on pretty much we already know what it really came down to. Well, it was it was it was home. We, we was fucking fortunate enough to have parents that was showing us right from wrong. But nigga, it was a, it was a, 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 a time in my life, and I ain't gonna even say why I didn't know it, but nigga was, uh, for man, if you was a dude, you was a nigga, and if you was a chick, you was a, a hoe. And that's a direct influence from Cash Money Records. Like, you got it all, our music as a whole, I don't even just want to stamp cash money. Like, do you realize at sixth grade, niggas is at middle school dances talking about monkey on that stick? Right. Little bit of girls? Stay in line, ho. 
it's moment on that bitch. on that dick, really. Looseness. Nigga, we talking about parties and crime. Give me some heroin, baby. Yeah. It's like you fucking 12 years old talking about give me some heroin, baby. Yeah. Man, and, and, no, and, no, and, no, and no every word. And no every yeah. word. Music is influential. Way so. too influential, dog. And that's what, you know, you, at, at some point you are, you have to be able to separate the two. But I understand when when some of the, the, the old heads or the older generation say, they ain't got no business listening to that. I know I wasn't supposed to be listening to it, but shit, I was listening. Dang, at the end of the day, the rappers that was coming out with music, that's what they was living. That's definitely. They was truly living like that. Most of them. They made us feel like that's how that, dope to go. Dick, that dope dick was the shit. But the shit. Made a nigga want to go hit something with the dope dick. Because Slim said. Because Slim said. And sound cold saying. That's how they cold saying. <laughs> you heard me? That's not the cold sand. So it's a, it's, it really be kind of hard, brother, to, to blame kids or frown upon them because they influenced by the music. Because we was influ heavily influ influenced by the music. Heavily. And then and it, went to, it went to all different walks of life. Like, you know, Reese, like you said about us, us being that big man, we was taught to, we had our outside of school life. We had our in school life. We had, it was two different worlds down there. It was similar, but that's also part of just growing up in New Orleans. You gotta be ready for whatever. Like you gotta be built to be bred and you gotta be bred to survive in any any situation. Like you gotta know that, like you said, you're on a bus, you might get jacked, you might, anything could get happen, but then you got a little job you know, you, you might go on the job interview. You got to be taught to to be ready for whatever. Like, then I know Vaughn, like you um going to St. Nog and living in a Bernard, like, that's two totally different worlds. So how you... I just, the Bernard, the whole downtown, the whole southern one. Right. Was chaotic. Definitely. You got to deal with John Mack, you got to deal with Kennedy, you got to deal with... All the schools downtown. Nigga said Phillips was beating up high schools. It was. That's how it was on Canal Street. Right. Once you hit Canal Street, you wouldn't worry about Easton and 35. 35. You worry about McDonald 28. 28. <laughs> Phillips. You feel me? Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. <laughs> Red they, 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 they run it right. Record, record called it from Rod and San Bernard. You mm -hmm. get off on Franklin Avenue. You get jumped by Cavalier. You get on Canal. You can jump by um, jump by four shit. You can jump by all the high schools. Uh, get off on Broad and Esplanade. They jump in uh, twenty eight jump. Get off on Galvez and St. Bernard. You can jump by Bell. So that's what we dealt with. You know, every day, every day. And yeah, one thing I know this that is all this all across the world. But you have your home where you live at, like I live in East. But a lot of people, you know, your your parents work summertime. You was by your grandma. You know what I'm saying? So my grandma, they stay in the Fort Ward. So that was a whole different world from the East. You know what I'm saying? It was the hood. Everything you see glorified in these songs and on TV, that's what was happening. That was happening there. So not only you got you going to school, you RTA, you dealing with that. Moms and pops working, so you buy your grandma for the whole summer. This is from childhood as well. So right. you experience a lot of things growing up in a city that prepared you for where you at now. To handle any situation that come your way, you prepare, you know? It's, it's right. You know what I mean? That, that's just what it is. The reason, like, I don't, I, and I, and I, when I talk to people, I tell them that, like, you know, people even criticize us on the podcast for how we talk when we, uh, in our laid back, lax environment. Like, it's, like, I'm a chameleon, basically. In this situation, I could be that. And, and and when I gotta go to work, and when I when I gotta go talk to this bank about this loan for this business I'm trying to start, I'm a whole different person. I'm still me, but I know how to turn it on and turn it off. And that's what that's what the city brings. That's you what grew it. Up quicker than a lot of people. Quicker than way, way a lot of people. Yeah, though. I remember catching a bus man at five, five years old. A lot of people don't know this story. I used to catch it. I had, coming from a single parent household, my mom had. Help. Nobody, nobody right. no support. So at five, she put me on the RTA. Hey, look, 
That's what you gotta do. You gotta catch this one bus. With instructions. With instructions. <laughs> Sit behind the bus driver. When you get to this, uh, San Bernardo and DSAG, you ring the bell. I did that every day. Mm -hmm. 11 years old, I was paying my own, I was paying my mom bills during the circle food store. Go to circle food. Nobody paid a bill. Nobody yeah. paid a bill. Yeah. 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 Follow directions. Yeah. Follow instructions. Yeah. Life but, lessons. But that's just a New Orleans thing. He, single parent home, I had both the parents in my house. I caught the RT at kindergarten. I went to St. Anthony on Canal Street. My mama dropped me off by my grandma. Right. And I caught kindergarten, five years old. Damn. Caught Damn. the RCA to school every day. Got left. Me and my cousin. She that she was older. I didn't got left on the bus before, you know, the canal got it didn't went all the way to the right. end. Bus driver was like, baby, will you I'm gonna go right here to St. Anthony. She then brought me back, you know, so Come That's when we had the, the little bus tokens. Right. No Come problem. Sit. We had no bus. This was bus tokens. Come my grandma had a, a, a whole bag of them. I caught the bus five years old. Kindergarten and first grade. RT. Boy, I ain't on that bus. Ain't no way my mama would let me catch the bus at five, though. It was five. 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 Not at five. Not at five. Not at five. Yeah, you got to do what you got to do. That's what it is. That's what it is. Moms, moms worked across the river at the school board, so. Yo, yeah, no, like. You got to do what you got to do. Like, that's just what it is. Um, so it's just not a single parent home issue. It's just a, New a convenience issue. New Orleans issue. I, I've been to, I lived in many cities. New Orleans is the only city where the bus can bring you anywhere you need to go. Fact. Uh, in Houston, you got to have I don't care if you want to go to Miss you, you want to go to Kennel, catch the Kennel Loop, you want to go to Metairie. <laughs> the RTA going to bring Metairie. you to that bitch. <laughs> right. You can get anywhere. <laughs> For sure. And uh, on that RTA. And out here, you can't. You got to have a car in Houston. Shout have... out that Paris Rule 72. Chef <laughs> 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 <Chef> Express. Oh. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, dog, and then it just go into all kind of stuff. Even with the, even with the um, the music, it's like with the violence in the music, the the goddamn like just. What's a nigga? Hey, what's a nigga? Hey. Like that's normal. <laughs> like that. The the way the way the way the music was set up, like it made so many things that have no business being normal. I will fucking know them, but dog. Guess why? Somebody, yeah. Guess why? Just like I just said, the rappers was living what they talked about. No, they somebody got it. somebody got killed in every song. Gary, we was the we've been the murder capital for the past twenty years. Somebody got killed in every song. Every song. Every song. Nigga got killed. And what what type of gun they used to kill a nigga? And what type of gun they used? <laughs> but back then, that's when rap was. Actually, real life, they lived it. It wasn't, you know, today Today is more entertainment. Right. Yeah, Telling right, stories. Right. Sure. You know, but back then, our local music was what they was really into, what they was really going through. Yeah, everyday and shit, everyday problems, everyday, everyday things. And if you was weak, and if you was weak minded, you would fall into that trap of, this is what I need to do to survive. Right. BG, but say he busting heads. I'm, but did you have to be weak minded though? Because I don't really feel mm -hmm. like. I don't feel like I was weak, but I that felt was, like any time I felt played, something had to happen. Like, I ain't care who it was, I felt played, I got to do something. Like, that's really, and I don't feel like I was no weak or no dummy. It was just, that's what it was. Like, it wasn't no let them live. But like, it wasn't let them live. The culture, the culture that you know, first of all, it's everything so much thing. Everybody know everything that's going on with somebody. Right. Soon as something happened to you, they got a nigga sitting there, right? You right by you. So what you gonna do? Like you say, most of the time shit happened on the RTA. Nigga come and take your fucking headphone. You got ten other niggas. Everybody looking at you. Back. Everybody right. looking. Right. Right. If so I they, not, they, not they feeling you out. So, so you got to. You, if you don't, you if you, you don't, about to do. So if, if you don't, don't do, if I don't whip this nigga. Yes. My I headphones get took get everything. Head not even I'm that. Not even that. When you go back to school tomorrow, everybody go Ribbit. already know the story. Everybody you know, so they waiting on you to come step in. Oh, he's a punk. stupid Let me tell you how nigga fucked over that boy Reese. Yeah. And they just let a nigga take his shit. That's well, how I started in my club, though. What they used to do? When they step on your shoes, then what? Well, fuck, if I got on them badges, if I got on animals and you step on them bitches, this is a problem. But this just still going back to that on. era. This yeah. still goes on. The youngsters right now, niggas like my little cousin and shit, hello, them niggas still doing that. Nigga, they still feel like they's on a dog. whole nother level. Can't be, dog. These niggas on a whole nother level. Can't dog. be. Can't be. No way I believe that, dog. Like, I gotta feel like them niggas know better. Like, I gotta feel like, like, 
but then they don't. But then they don't because they still listening to like it's music, so it's still influential. It might be different artists, but you got the still got the the, the new young niggas who are on some other kind of shit as well. What music used to come on as well that made everybody feel like no limit. Fuck them other niggas. Fuck them other niggas because I'm not the whole club fight now. Like, it, it, like whatever war. Had whatever war. But even before that, like every every nigga songs had fucking break. Down where the beat broke down for you to throw your water. Right. For you to throw your water. New Orleans, the whole city probably from fucking from bullet to fucking uptown is 20 minutes. So in that short period of time, you got niggas from every ward that are really die or kill for their wall. And you gotta think about every song at that time. Shouted out their walls. Shouted out their walls. Shouted out, shout out every, multiple every, walls. Multiple. You know? So you could buck it. So when you in the club, it's ninth <clears> wall, third wall, they beefing. Yeah. Now I know who you are. Yeah. Now I know even, yeah. now I know exactly who you are. Every, where you're every local song had everybody, everybody rep their wall on them. Yeah. At some point in time throughout this, the song, you had to rep your wall. And, and, and regardless of where you at, because you know, being from the east, across the river is so close, but it's so far. So I think that's New Orleans, you done. But I went into Caesars, right? So instead of saying Ninth Ward, Third Ward, they in that Morrell Road, Harvey, and they bucket, and they bucket, it. And they they bucket. Yeah, they bought it too. you know, they bucket, right? Yeah. So right. you know, so the same thing, Lake of Shy, Harvey, they got their little sections over that too. Cut off. Yeah. They ain't really New Orleans. <laughs> Shout out, Elgin, Shout out the West Bank. Yeah, that's my man. But they different. Shout out to the West Bank. They Shout still wearing strap over there. And Dookie Bruce. <laughs> but we gonna let them live. <laughs> we gonna let them live. The West Bank. Right. Shout out to it's just, it just, um, yeah, no, like I don't really understand like the 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 transition from from our generation to the next is like at what point in time are these niggas gonna realize like. Feeling play ain't always the shape. That's when you get older and mature. I mean, you, I mean, when you get to that certain age, I mean, you gotta realize feeling play ain't gonna get you nowhere. Definitely. Definitely. What you what you really in the risk? You know, for feeling played and doing the action. Are you really in the risk? It's really only one. The person. consequences. It's really only one person to ask. When you got it, when we need that voice, we gotta go to Elo. Like, like what? What 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 you feel played about? Uh, uh, yeah, D. Eric. Hello, hello, King. You nigga, call me Lou. Yeah, D. Okay. What we talking about? The one y'all gotta go? <laughs> I ain't got no cup. Not the dick, cuz. Not the dick. We ain't smoking. Oh, no. Do it, do it. We ain't What's smoking. Him? What's that? Like, what what you listening to? What you what you got going on? What you bumping in the car right now? The music. What you on? <laughs> Oh, my little partner's out here, yeah. I'm, yeah, you already know I'm there. I fuck with the music, though. I fuck with it, you dig? But all my little people, all my little people out the projects, out the third wall. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got people out the third wall. I fuck with niggas out the fourth wall, seven wall, nine wall, Air you wall. eight wall, LG, yeah, D. You cross that road. Yeah, man. Man, I'm everywhere. You got people in Kim? Kim? That shit kind of. Fuck! <laughs> that shit fuck! Yeah, I'm a city nigga. Ain't, yeah, no, ain't no kind of. Yeah, I've been definitely fuck. What? Go ahead, man. I don't smoke. Uh, they, 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 you you, you uh, know that. Nigga slipping out shit. Nigga slipping. Nigga slipping. But. But, Elo, how you got here? You know that nigga poop? Strapped out here with that gas. <laughs> gas all day. <laughs> That nigga poo, dog. That's my cuz, dog. You know what I'm saying? That's how I came with the, came up with this shit, cuz blood. You know what I'm saying? That nigga poo. That's my cuz, and that's my blood. That's how I came up with how I'm coming. We rocking the cuz blood, but that nigga poo, my people, dog. That's how I got you. You know what I'm saying? Homie be talking about how I be coming and what I be saying, cause he don't understand my yeah. He ain't yeah like me. You dig? Y'all might fuck with it, cause I'm. I see y'all might be a little yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah, yeah, blowing yeah. the gas. Look, I'm gassed up. <laughs> All day, gangs. What music you listening to? What you listening to? All your little pilots. He said that. 
I'm saying, like, what y'all, what y'all want, what y'all know? I, I need, need like, some I'm, of that new flavor. I need something that's hot right now. They got a little knuckle out the night, what? Little knuckle out the night. I can't listen. Buster. I can't listen to nothing. Head buster. I can't listen he to nothing. He yeah out you. I can't listen to nothing. Let Tito out the six. All he talk about is the yeah, cause we yeah. I can't listen. Get to it how you live. How y'all? How y'all was rocking in the nineties, dog? Like, how, how y'all be rocking? real music? I don't think y'all was yeah. We were. We had the real music. We what, had. What, what, what real music? Though? We had the real music. The uh. Hello. How many drugs you be on at one time? Nigga, I'm on the. Nigga, I'm on the. I bought a juice. <laughs> nigga, on the <a> perk. <laughs> yeah, then. Nigga, on the Zan. Seroquel. Yeah. <laughs> you heard me? Nigga ain't coming like me. <laughs> nigga, hey, come like me. It's all about how yeah you be on that. You did? You gotta I, flick that up for the gram. You did? Hold on, selfie with the. Give me enough. <laughs> Put me in there. I need it. You did? I need the selfie. So, Sarah, how, you, how you move around in the city? How you move around New Orleans? Being from every wall. Them young niggas don't go to what, man. That nigga sleep. That's what you don't know. The fuck is up. Niggas be coming in here, <laughs> backing up. That nigga, the drugs. <laughs> niggas be inside that, on nigga Instagram live all day, talking okay. right. shit. Scared to come outside. outside. But that's what we gotta reach, dog. Like that's what we gotta. That's what we gotta figure out. That's why everything we were talking about before, how it was growing up with us. Like them niggas on a whole new page. They on a whole new wave. Like gas, gas, <laughs> no brakes. So how do you? Like, shit we did made sense. Like, you know, people come to New Orleans, they be scared to come to the city. They be scared to come to the city. Because they ain't yeah like me. Because <laughs> I'm yeah. I'll be yeah on my father's yeah out here. But I tell them, I tell them, you know, back, not even going to say back, because I ain't old, but, like, we was aware of shit, but nigga wasn't scared. Because, like, shit was happening to people that were supposed to happen to like, niggas wasn't just no random niggas getting killed. Like, even when we was the murder capital. Like, you had, to, you was in that, like, like, they had shit happens, but, nigga, if you was in that world, you was in that world. And the thing about it, we didn't have no game. Valid boys. That's about it. That's about it. But we ain't do, wait, right. Cuz, blood taking over. Now we got cuz and blood. Yeah, they. But that's cuz it's his cousin. That's his cousin. And, and it's my blood. And it's his blood. And it's his blood. And it's my blood. And blood. And and it's his blood. blood. Shit makes sense. Shit makes nigga sense. Nigga talking about, I'm a clown. Nigga, my cousin and my blood. How you, what else could it be? Man, nigga ain't yeah out here like me. Blowing on the gas. And on the juice. And on the perk. Circle. About to go to sleep again. Sandball. Any day now, you was going to sleep. Man, look here. You up now, though. Niggas ain't yeah, dog. And see, that's what I'm saying. Like, at the end of the day, it's absolutely no way. L O could go from the uh the block to the boardroom. Like not possible. This nigga is stuck. He's mind, he's stuck in his ways. It it ain't no other options. Like it ain't no boardroom. It ain't no man, at low told over girl and them I get three hundred dollars a day for you. <laughs> Dead serious though. This nigga up here, can you survive off three hundred a day? Yeah, I can survive off three hundred a day, not from you though. But see that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Nigga dead serious, dog. Ain't no ain't no transition. We gotta like that's that's something I feel like is lost in the in, in that in that younger generation that that able to to to, to shift and maintain. And I, I don't even know if it was prevalent in our generation. I just know I was able to do it. But you had strong people around you too. You surrounded yourself that other people that was able to separate and know how to separate from what they hear and what they see. You wasn't just you in a project full of just all day. You were right, just, right. you know what I'm saying? Like you, 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 you played ball. You had other people that had other outlooks on the city that right. didn't even listen to what you listened to. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So they older oh, the and saying yeah, yeah. So they doing other things that's giving you a different perspective. Like okay, this ain't just the only way. Right. Even mm -hmm. though I do like this song. I don't have to be subjected to whatever the, the song's saying, you know what I'm saying? Because I see other shit, right. you know and what I'm saying? And at right. the end of the day, whatever you did about your day, you came home. And yeah. at home, you was taught the right principles, right. values, and morals, that the way you should conduct yourself 
when you out in the streets. Like I said, we we the elite. Even though born from out of St. Bernard, single parent household, his mama instilled morals and, and responsibility. Yeah, I'm about to have you go pay this this phone bill or whatever bill it that is. But guess what? Right you better be home when I say be home. Definitely. Period. Like, I don't want to hear nothing else. Other niggas out here, yeah, you got to go pay the phone bill, the phone bill in your name, and I don't care what time you come here because I'm about to dip. Lunch. You know what I'm saying? So they got a whole different mindset. So they hear songs, murder, murder, kill, kill. Nigga, that's what they about. Shout out, Mac. Period. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you heard me? That's what they about. And don't get me wrong, we, we came from good backgrounds, but we still did I will fuck shit I, a whole bunch sure. of dirt too. Like, you know, Dumb it's documented and shit that Dumb shit. we yeah. did that we got into right or wrong, you have a decision. You know, if you did bad before, you can you can yeah. you can turn and go the other way. You ain't got it. You know, you, ain't you can be it. successful. You don't have to stay in the hood. You don't have to do what everybody else is doing. Your story ain't written. Exactly. That's just a chapter. Write your own story. Yeah, that's just a chapter in your book that you can close and go to the next one. And, at, and at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, the, the conclusion of the book is definitely, it's definitely going to be whatever you want it to be. Like, it ain't, that that chapter don't have to be the, the final thing. But, um. It's all about the wine and so positive people. Whether it's football coaches, basketball coaches. Anybody that, that you uncles, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be on the right group of people. That is that's true. That's true. That's something I take that's something I take uh real serious with as a as a coach. Like I feel like yeah, I teach my, my, my little killers how to uh how to play basketball. But I got young black men I'm responsible for. So I gotta teach them how to stay away from a the dumb shit I, I did, and once you get in that dumb shit, how you bounce back from that dumb shit, like all of that, all of that man. And the whole power, the whole thing that we need is to get like truly engraved in just how we think. That way, it, it can affect the kids and the and the youth. Is them realizing and us realizing that we all. You know what I'm saying? We all in control of us. If whatever dreams that we have, anything that we see that we may want in the future, we in control of that. You never subjected subjected to what you can't control at a certain age. You know what I'm saying? You can always have that mind frame of it's not gonna be like this forever because I control my future. You ain't gotta be what they want you to be. Period. Regardless of what your circumstances are, what you face with, is everybody not gonna have have the, you know what I'm saying, just the the, the, the right energy around them all the right, time. The right, family right. don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? Life don't work like that. Right. But they got to know that they the ones that control whatever they whatever their dreams are, they control getting to them. You and know what I'm saying? And they got that power to do that. That's you a fact. Know what I'm That's a fact. And then, and uh, also, like, we started, we started this whole thing off with about the music because, you know, New Orleans is just a, it's a musical city. It's the birthplace of jazz. Like, like, that's in us. Like, that's, Every, Mardi Gras, it, yeah, it's the flow since this, but every band coming through, like, who playing this? Who, like, music in us. So, we saw, you know, we named a couple of people, like, who else y'all feel like we ain't touch on that nigga need to say their name? I mean, for starters, we need to yeah. shout out everybody, because every, from Big That's Boy hard. Records, from Cash Money, to, everybody. to Even, Ta not everybody, from Take Four Records, they all played a part. And we'll yeah, have today. Sure. You even know, the pool niggas? Everybody. Because even the pool niggas, we listen to one song on these CD. They got some one hit ones out I mean, you, every No Limit CD that came out, we listened to this. We bought it to listen to the Soldier song. Definitely sure. that had that song. And Mystical. And Mystical. So every time. Everybody so, said, so, everybody so, said, everybody so, said Silk sure. was the jokest nigga, but Silk had the coolest Soldier song. So, with that being said, we never said, but we gotta shout, shout out Mia X for sure. Ooh, my God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She gotta shout out Mia X. Miss T. Miss T. Miss T held it down. Right. What the fuck? Rest in peace, Magnolia Shard. Black right. Menace, Ghetto Twins. Fiend. Sporty T. Fiend. Sporty Fiend. Fiend. L O G. She get black. L O G. Like, yeah. Yeah. So it's me, you and L V. Yellow boy. Got fat. You know what I'm saying? Black menace. Black menace. That boy was a monster. 
Fucking uh, Ricky B. Ricky B. Shake for your motherfucker. All, all the bounce rappers, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, I ain't really, really no bounce nigga, but. I'm just saying, the but, whole Willie yeah. Puck. That was the real 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 Puck. Yeah, that was the real Puck. Yeah, that was the real Puck. Magnolia started off as bounce. Slim started off as bounce. That's DJ Mooch. Realize that. Very special. Looking at this. Oh, I thought we were about to hear that. That's something that the city is missing too. I feel like not. Nah, like I, I feel like you know, you know, we did the cipher, but I want, I want them rappers that's not connected in the city. Like I want y'all to, like we the code. It's like period. Like I don't feel like, as far as music concerned, I don't feel like no city fucking with my city in music. Period. I ain't, I ain't just talking about the rap. I'm talking about the jazz, trombone, short, and them like free to like. All, all kind We're of. just the most versatile. We the cold that soul in our rap. Period. Period. Like like just cold. the way Juvie rap. He come on and be humming. Mm -hmm. And be about to go That's off. when you know he was about to go off. That's when you know he was about to go off. Before that verse, it's about he about to murder that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Wayne. But nigga saw the growth from Wayne from not cursing. Man, Wayne was at, at McMahon not cursing in his raps. Fucking spitting in the back hallway to the best rapper alive. To Marshall. And now he Marshall, man. We ain't need them boots alone, dog. But still a coolest nigga. Still a coolest nigga. Um, Tyron still was nice, too. Still nice. Yeah. Ain't mm -hmm. no words. Yeah, I'm talking about back in the day. Before. Been cool. Yeah, it's right. Been even, time, even, uh, even fucking uh, No Limit. No Limit right. spitter. Yeah. He was spitting that. Mm -hmm. Free Mac. Fuck. One of, the one, of the one of the best in the city, the period. Goals. Free BG. That shell shot, one of the coolest. Free fucking BG. Son, this nigga Dean used to put BG on every time he got in the cuss. This nigga said BG was his idol. Before, before, <laughs> before we end, we got to shout out the instru the man that's instrumental for all this, the music. Fresh. Fred. It was what? Manny Fresh. Man, man, man. Fred. 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 Don't get mentioned enough when they talk about don't these type of music, He don't get mentioned enough. Manny Fresh. Fred. Precise. Fred. Fred. Y'all don't know. Oh, everything that y'all heard from KLC was Manny. Yeah. All them boys, oh, the drummer man. boy, yeah. Morgan right. Dick, all them boys, we gotta shout them out because they the was the music. The That's the music. Like, when, like, yeah, it wasn't it, it, the beat. Man, it, the beat got DJ you going. Right, right, right. Getting it popping. Right. The whole seven wall yeah. DJ, really. Yeah. Man, it had the whole seven wall buzzing. Then he, even the DJ is not. Yeah. Rod, the best DJ in the world. Rod, someone got it. Right. Man, yeah, Raj had yeah. shout out. Raj had it. Shout out house. that House of Blues on Thursday. Soul shout to out Soul, soul to Soul Thursday. But we talk about what raised us. Fake IDs, sneaking through the sneaking through the kitchen man. to get in that man. HOV man, on Thursday. Rhythm City, what? Rockefeller, <laughs> Rockefeller, two point five. With the with the breakfast buffet at four in the morning. What? Planet Hollywood. Yeah, Ambrosia's. Ambrosia. 360. Ambrosia had all the college, college parties popping. Yeah. Tulane. Two the fucking, uh, what this shit was on Tulane. On Tulane. On the pole, the Riverboat. The 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 American Legion, the White House. Boy, that shit was cool. The American Legion, the White House, Gurney Brown. But that was in every single talent show. Everything, but that's just shout out to all the dance groups, man. That's all we're That's how we're in the That's it. That's my environment, though. I wanted to give y'all a little bit of us who raised us. Shout out to everybody. We just named it. We left y'all to blame it on the mind out the hall. We in this bit taking shots in that. Hey, we ain't never take our last shot. Yeah, we, we ain't never take our last shot. Let's toast it up. Toast it up to the city. To the city. To the city. We love you. And we're going to holler at y'all. Check us out. In no opinion. We'll be back next week. Yeah. My city gets down with so loud. Throw a party downtown. It's showtime. Time is with us. We going to make it work. And we going to show the world how the city go berserk. Trump is playing through five in the morning. Which be the sounds that will make you love the city of New Orleans. You catch a bad vibe, chuck a douce. Long as you feel alive, let's bon ton roule. Because we going to make it feel right at home. And you ain't got a party alone. Hey, DJ, play one of my songs. So we can keep dancing to it all night long. The greatest sound that you ever had. So we can feel joy for the feeling bad. Enjoy your time. We'll leave a
up Trevor for the second line. Second line. Second line.